in this tutorial i will make a game in excel microsoft office gives us this application begin with sizing the rows equal to the columns so let us give it 40 and they now look squarish let's make the border to play cross zero game so crosses can be entered like this and we need to have a size change here let's align them in center now they look good enough and uh, now we will read this and decide if it is going to make us win as you know this wins the game because you have got all same symbols in a row so we will use the formula logically we need to and test it with and function so let us go with and and if so if this cell is equal to x small n capital and small don't matter and uh, with this we have f also equal to x then we have g also g5 should also be cell number g5 should be 6 then we will have a true now we have to have a and here rather than if because we have to test three conditions so let us so let us write this as and and press enter so all three are tested and if this is true if this is true then we need to give an output let us say that output is one so now if you want to read it let us show it in large font size and clearly in the center of the cell so if we enter something else here it will be zero otherwise it will be one so it will help us decide that uh, zero indicates not a win and uh, one indicates a win similarly we have to check for other rows also and what about this this one should check for this cell diagonal check has to be done to show that this is also one condition to win the game let us check that just copy all and copy and fill in all places yes all all of them are working correctly let us show you that if we trace the precedent see this one is being generated due to filling of x in all the rows now we have to get this also done these ones columns checking the columns to check them let us arrange them use the same formula and arrange them so that it checks for column number first and now let us copy this and paste it here so we have got our checks done for the alphabet or the player x let us write player x and also write player 0 let us write o and uh, now let us copy all this uh, rather let us just copy one code and paste it here and let us replace x with the o so that same code works for other also so i am using notepad to do that i just want to change this x to o so i will replace this like that small and large doesn't matter so o is now replaced and let us use this formula here to check for o i have filled that and let us check if this is working so we put zeros here and it should have been one 
let us double check it okay it is not checking the cells which we want or intend to let us move the cells and highlight it with, with this colors with these colors now now it is checking and uh, it is giving player zero as a winner so we have to indicate that to a human being also but first let us complete the programming part uh, let us see if we have done it correctly let's copy this one and or rather just double click on it and move the highlighted parts to the cells in which we want to check if all are filled with O's that is done now let us copy this and put it here also and it checks for O's it is checking here rather we need to check for columns so bring them here just press on index and press the index finger on mouse and drag it so you've got this done see now you just copy and paste here so excel automatically knows what has been done so we have done significant work so let us save this on desktop name it cross zero game okay now i think we have got everything okay this is not correct let us get this one also sorted and after i have done this coding part okay all ones are showing that z player zero is winning and all x's now will be filled to check if all x's are working okay now we have got our uh, game ready now we have to display that who's the winner so let us do that too now we have to flash out here and check if this or this or this or this is winning so let us take the formulas or function and say check for player x if this is equal to is equal to one that is true indicated nicely and uh, others also which one this one also needs to be checked for a one or this one is one or this one is one let's copy this one and let us keep filling h8 cell now g8 cell if this is equal to one or what else we need to check for um, we have got uh, g8 now we need to check for f8 and then we need to check one more e8 now all these will be checked and value will be passed so rather than true we have to display something so let us put it inside encapsulate inside if function if this is true then let us declare he wins okay so we write like this and comma and then two inverted commas to write nothing if it doesn't support it doesn't if this these ones are not detected then we will just just write a blank in the second option and a win in the first option so x wins has been declared now let us fill zeros or o's actually we will we are using o now same code code needs to go here and what which ones are being checked we need to check the correct ones let us move the formula boxes to correct place what about this one did we not include it so let us include that one also so this one is i8 this also needs to be checked and okay this is done what about this one it is checking all box everything is set now it is time to play the game let's delete everything and let us make this a little bit more like a game rather than just a no i simple program so let us give them color 
uh, you can make it bold and uh, you can increase the size also so i think let us give a little bit of increase in the size and let us write the name of the game uh, it is cross zero game and there's our introduction and uh, merge it and bring it to the center bold increase the size and uh, make it a bit more readable and let us increase the size here also and increase the size of the cell so that everything is visible let us now darken this thick border and uh, you can change the color also let us change the line style is we can go here and change the line style also we can give colors so let us fill this like that so it is now visible let us reduce this bring it closer and we don't want to show this to the user so one way is to color them same as the background and if we want to view it um what we need uh, let us remove the grid lines now it is a bit more clear and let us draw a border around it so that you can have the game panel view further you can have a page break view or it doesn't go it doesn't look right to go back to the original view full screen view there are so many ways you can but anyway so this is the game ready with us you can minimize the ribbon and let's start playing if i enter x here then somebody else enters zero here i enter x here somebody enters a zero here i enter let us say x here somebody tries to and enter zero here i enter x here and this one is not detected so oh, our game does has is checking only for this diagonal we forgot to design that part so let us again correct that i mean include that so to include that let us bring the funds back and uh, visible make them visible again and we have checked for these we forgot to implement that let us copy this and let us do one here so we'll double click this and let us check for this case also fortunately i uh, went into one case which i forgot to program now it is done and for zero or o also we need to check let us rename we rename this we need to replace x so press the replace button in notepad replace all copy this code and paste it here paste it here and so this one we need to check for these cells and for zeros that is done too so further we need to update this also this needs to check for one more cell which is this one and this is checking if it is equal to one that is done now we need to have a similar entry for this one also let us say this one is equal to one press enter and now we can again try playing the game let us again hide these indicators hide them and uh, game needs to be played again tested again let's test the game and this let us 
let us make this a little more visible so uh, on a yellow uh, let us give it a good color uh, which color will show black will show the best okay now there is the winner being declared now let's play this game again and there goes our players let's show them also like that and let's show the results here okay let's start let us put zero here we play randomly and see what are the results okay excellent so this is the game designed completely we can play cross zero we need to delete it so we can later add delete button also but i think this is a very good start and uh, it is working well so both both the players have got so uh, this programmed well and this is how you design a simple cross zero game